Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video I will share my learning about the Clickview scripting basics. In Clickview basics, I will show you how you can restrict your data so that you will just show the desired data in the front end and the regularly used data massaging function so that you have the right data in the dashboard. So let's have a condition where we can restrict the data. So I have this data already loaded uh, in the ClickView system, so which is uh, related to, you know, we have some imp customers here, like who has the first name and their last name, the, their company name, their address, their business phone, their city, country, and you know, job titles and a lot of information about that. So suppose that now uh, your company has stopped doing the business with a company name company D. So Christina Lee is basically the representative of this company D and basically the purchasing manager. So now you have stopped doing the business with this company D. You just don't want to show its data in your dashboard. Now in similar in these kind of condition where you just don't want to show a particular information or you know uh, or you want to have a subset of data so that you just don't want to remove from your entire database but just for the dashboard you want to have the subset data uh, you can do some settings in uh, in some simple settings in the click face scripting uh, and then you can have the desired results so for that Let's go into this edit script. Let's click on this edit script button to go in edit scripting. So in this data tab, I have the customer list. So the next thing we will do is uh, we will set up a where clause. So we will say uh, here before the semicolon, we will just click enter. We will say where now we will say the company because here here you can see it is the company title so we will say here the company is uh, not equals to the company D so we will have this company D name in single quotes we will save this and we will reload the data. Click OK. And now you can see the company D is nowhere appearing in this data set. So that is how you can just do these simple settings in your scripting and create a subset of your data set. So if I go back again and show you what I have done and discuss further about it, you will know it better. So I just created a where statement uh, and said the column name, which is company, is not equals to company D. So you can do other restrictions also. So for example, uh, you want to see you know, a particular job title in your subset data set, then you can say, where job title is equals to either owner or anything which is of your uh, interest according to your dashboard requirements. And uh, the next uh, question or the valid question you may ask here is like, I have just shown one condition, but what if I have stopped working with other companies also? So for example, the idea here is to show how we can set the multiple condition. So if I if I'm saying I have stopped doing business now with company A also, what can I do? How it should be written here in click view? Then it's easy. You just need to say and the again the com column name which is company is not equals to company. A. You save it and reload it. 
click OK. Now you can say you do not have uh, a company A information, right? So you can say how easy it is to set the conditions to get the required data. Now let's go back again in edit script to quickly review what we have done. So we have set the multiple condition where uh, we have just imported the data. Now how I have imported the data? For that you can see my earlier video uh, which is specifically for how to import data in ClickView from Excel file and even I have shown how to import the cross tabular data in a separate video so you can watch them and then after importing the data you can set the where condition and set multiple condition or single condition according to your requirement so if you have other conditions also you can go ahead and create those condition with uh, and and uh, enter the column name and the value related to that column which either you want to see or you don't want to see. So this is a sign of not equals to in uh, click view but uh, equals to sign is very simple which is uh, this equals to so only not equals to sign is a bit different. So this is how you can set uh, multiple condition. Now let's talk about uh, uh, the regular data massaging functions or settings we use in ClickView. So one of the very first thing that come into my mind when I look at this data is first name and last name. So for example, uh, usually we do not show the information like this in dashboard. You just want to have one single field indicating both the first name and last name. Now, uh, how do we do it here? So we need to combine these two columns, the first name and last name, and create a new column name uh, like full name. So how we will do that? So when you see these columns, first name and last name, uh, after then only you need to specify the uh, new column or, or the new full name. Either here, if I just press enter, I, I come here, so I will say, first name and ampersand and the last last name so we will give this a proper column name which will be with as and the new column name which will be full name and a comma after that so you can see the idea here is that you should do these kind of operations uh, like if I have first name and last name then I should have these fields imported first or they should appear uh, before doing these operation. So, so this is how you can concatenate with the ampersand uh, and then you need to create a new column name with the as keyword so you, you concatenated first name ampersand last name as full name and this full name is now the new column for which is concatenation of first name and last name so i will just save this and reload this all right i get got some error and the error is the value file not found, field not found, which is FISRT. So I have uh, written the incorrect name. I just need to do some small change. So the shortcut to go in uh, edit script is control E. I will just correct this typo, which is first. All right. So good that it happened here and I showed you how you can you know rectify these simple mistakes so I will reload the data again okay so it is appearing now now I need to just import the data field into this which I have recently created so I will go into the properties of this table uh, I will uh, remove this first name and the last name and I will just 
uh, enter this new full name which appeared at the end and I will just promote this to appear right after the ID so I just clicked on the promote button and it has the second place now click OK all right so we have a problem again the problem is uh, there is no space between the first name and the last name usually you want to have that for uh, read it properly so no problems let's go back again to edit script by entering control E in Windows and uh, let's have a space so for a space after the ampersand we will say we will enter a uh, single quote space single quote and ampersand all right save it reload it and now you have this space also so you you have seen uh, how easily uh, you can do all of these small data massaging um, and data restriction activities here in this added script which is uh, something we uh, we faced regularly while doing the dashboarding like uh, we want to see the data in this way we just want to see this particular data then these small things really uh, becomes very handy and helps us a lot for doing the data massaging now I will just show you one more quick thing uh, and after that I will just end this uh, basics video so for example uh, we have the business phone field as you can see here however all the numbers are same but you can see this one two three which is I think the city code which is appearing prior to the number so for example if you have a requirement where you just don't want to see the city code because probably you are aware what will be the city code then or you just want to have their number appeared here so what you can do uh, you can go in script and write a small function for it so for that let's go into edit script by clicking on this button and business phone so what you can do after business phone you just uh, say right um, I'm sorry you need to it, have it from left so left is the function in click view to uh, fetch the data from left so if I say left and give the business phone uh, as its parameter and the number of string then it will fetch the values from the left but I think that's not we want it right so we want to fetch the data this data which is appearing at the right side so I think what I was doing earlier was right so we will enter the right function right and the bracket and I will enter business phone field and after that I will say how many fields I want so I need to count that to get the count this is one two three four five six seven eight so I will say eight as probably new business phone and a comma all right let's save it and reload it okay and let's move into this properties to quickly change the business phone with new business phone add it here click OK so you have this new business phone appeared here and you can see that uh, the 1 2 3 is removed because we have extracted the 8 characters or the 8 numbers from this field and the new field is new business phone so let me go back to quickly into edit script and show you what I have done so after the business phone I have created a function write which is an inbuilt in click view and enter the field name with the proper parameters and created a new business field which is new business phone. 
So this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.